Hello Taurus, oh welcome back to my channel, how are you? It's so great to have you back. I am so excited you guys to have you here with me. How are you feeling? How are you doing? I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. I hope you guys are feeling amazing. I hope you guys are manifesting all your dreams and I also want to just say I am so so grateful for all of you. I'm so grateful for your love you guys. Taurus, we have reached Gemini season so yes I'm so excited you guys. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded and also I do have new services. I have amazing services you guys. Please check out my story. It is fantastic. Okay, the eyes of destiny, Taurus. There's something around the eyes, you guys. A lot of you guys are really moving through clear sight or vision. So this is a time of manifestation for you, okay? I can really feel it. So I also want to just say thank you so much to all of you who have donated to the channel. Thank you so much to all of you. Who are present, who are kind, you guys. I also want to just say thank you so much for donating. For those of you who have taken the time to donate, it means the world, you guys. It means so, so much. And I also want to just say thank you for all of you for being so loving, you guys. You guys have been amazing. Also, I just want to check in and say I have pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff, you guys, on my Insta. I do have testimonials, reviews. I will have new services coming up very soon. So definitely... Um, hold space for that. If you guys have been waiting patiently for a reading, I am beyond grateful. Please continue to be patient with me, you guys. I'm currently healing and I'm also on the go. I am definitely moving through a transition, so yes. Yes, you guys. I am so excited, you guys. So let's go ahead and see what is going on with you, Taurus. Let's see what's happening with you. I am so excited, you guys. Please don't forget to comment below. Let me know how everything is flowing. Okay, let me know how everything is manifesting for you. I do feel a very, very strong, strong, strong energy around your root chakra, you guys. Okay, so there is something around destiny, destiny around your eyes, you guys. You have a vision for yourself during this time, okay? You have a future in mind. Some of you guys are investing this month. It feels really powerful, you guys. There's this movement around creativity. A lot of you are trusting your path again. A lot of you guys are feeling really in alignment. Okay, I can feel it. There's something around the drums here. Okay, Taurus. Gemini season is really kind of grounding your energy, you guys. Okay. So listen. A lot of you, there may be some kind of, I, I don't know why I'm feeling theft of energy or theft of kind of your center. Some of you may feel as if there's a Libra in your environment who's stealing your energy or stealing your, your creative center, you guys, or your ability to kind of transition, okay? This is a Libra sun, moon, rising, okay? So some of you, there's something you have not agreed to here. Okay, Taurus. A lot of you, some of you, I, I do feel there's something you have written that you have not agreed to. Okay, so right now, listen, the moon is a reflection of your desires. So please make sure you are checking into the moon influences during this time. 
Okay, the lunar aspects. Also, look at what is deceiving you. Okay, are you allowing something to deceive you during this time, Taurus? Okay, this is about seeing something from a place of your intuition, your instincts. Listen collectively when I was meditating on the earth signs. A lot of you are carrying the burden of Gaia, okay? A lot of you are carrying the burden of Gaia, but you are also carrying a major, major influence around your ancestors. I can feel it, you guys. It's with purpose, okay? This is also about being confronted, Taurus, with truth. Some of you guys have not been honest, okay? Some of you guys have not... If you have not been honest, you guys, there's something around accepting how worthy you are, how beautiful you are. I don't know if you guys have been in a place of rehab or you guys have been in a place of restoring, but a lot of this is coming back full circle. Okay? A lot of you guys, some of you in your environment has not been honest with you and you really are trying to hold space for them. I can feel it. You want to see the best in them. Okay, yes, you guys. Taurus, let's see what's happening. Listen, the number nine frequency here. You are activated with Jupiter. There's a strong feeling of Jupiter here. There's an ascension. Okay, this is about learning. Okay, this is about your educational path. Yes, you guys, let's see what's happening here. We do have trust in reverse. Okay, let's see it, Taurus. Listen, you guys. Some of you may be feeling as if you are doubting the next version or the next step in your life, you guys. Okay, listen, there's something around your path here. Okay, some of you, the moon is really encouraging, slowing down. Um, it almost feels as if something needs to be revisited in regards to your intuition. Are you guys following your intuition, you guys? Are you guys following your instincts? Okay. This is about planning. Okay, listen, you guys, Libra, excuse me. Some of you are confronting a Libra. Okay, some of you guys have trusted a Libra, Taurus. Okay, this person has led you astray. Or some of you guys are starting to realize if you're doing business here with a Libra. Okay, some of you guys are starting to recognize that this person perhaps was not trustworthy, okay? Gemini season is all about discovering the truth. Okay? It's all about discovering the truth and it's all about witnessing the beauty, you guys. The beauty that you are. Listen, you guys, some of you have tried. I, I can feel it. You're repainting this picture. You're trying to see this person from a different perspective. But Taurus, listen, you guys, there's something around your jewelry box. Okay? Pay attention to your jewelry box during this time. Okay, listen, you guys, we do have the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are really in a place of accepting, okay? Some of you are leveling up. I do see a new business here. But there's something about the weight, you guys. Are you patient? Even though you may feel as if you're patient, okay? Even though you may feel as if something has really worked in your favor, Okay, I do feel for a lot of you, there's something around you here. There's a definitely a requirement for patience. You guys, we have nine days. Okay, we have nine days, nine weeks. Listen, a lot of you have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy around freedom. Taurus, you are free. 
Okay, you are free. Listen, this bird is sitting on your head. Listen, look at this. You guys, very creative, very wise. There's wisdom around this bird. Okay, there's something around this freedom here. Okay? Some of you guys are removing the blindfold in business. You're shocked. An air sign here is shocking you. We cannot deceive during... Um, Gemini season, you guys, Mercury is really confrontational in regards to communication. It's really, really um, illuminating a lot of your strengths, but it's also showing you where you can improve just as much, okay? So Taurus, I don't know, listen, you guys, there's this beautiful, there's this beautiful energy here. Okay. It surrounds embarking on a new journey on your own. Are you trusting your path? Okay, are you trusting yourself, Taurus? Let's see, you guys. What's happening for you, my Taurians? There's a feeling of letting go, you guys. There's something around letting go. You're letting your, your arms free or something around the burden that you've been carrying, okay? Taurus, the full moon will show you the way. I believe it's in Cancer, okay? But right now, June 1st through the 15th, a lot of you are moving into a new direction. You're letting go. Some of you, I'm getting, a, um, I'm channeling too much too late. It's too much too late, okay? So we do have the Nine of Swords here, yes? in reverse. Listen, you guys, everything around your environment, I feel you are growing. New harvest, okay? This is a good time to protect your wealth, Taurus. Cover, um, cover what you've been working on, Taurus. Please do not show too much of your creativity, or right now is a good time to remain private. Right now is a really good time to um, remain, okay, remain private in terms of your work environment, especially if you're dealing with two other people in your environment, you guys, I do feel there's a bit of some gossip, okay, or chattiness, or people want to know things, I feel there's someone, a Capricorn here that may want to work with you, but listen, if you have been guided by a Libra right now, pay attention to the signs, you guys, Okay, you guys love, listen, your heart comes first, but the truth is, okay, there's something about this shift this month, you are learning how to love from a place of mind, you're allowing to see what has happened, and this has to do with travel, you guys, this has to do with um, your ability to move, okay, ninth house, we have spiritual travel, we have progression, we do have... Um, a lot of movement. So this this is about just you being free in general, okay? Do you feel free? Are you doing business with people that can sabotage you? Taurus, pay attention, my loves, okay? Or for others, if you're cross-watching, Taurus here is in alignment with themselves right now for some of you, okay? Or it may feel that way. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean it's so, but there's an independent streak about Taurus. Um, I do not see um, Taurus really working with anybody right now, okay? So if you guys have been wondering, if you guys are wondering if this is a good time for a Taurian, they are carrying the burden of their ancestors. So please, please, please take note, caution around how much you are my spirit guides are showing me balance, you guys. Okay, bringing balance. Okay, Taurus. Central theme. Yes, we have the star. Listen. Yes, you guys. So, Taurus, how are you loved? 
Okay, it reminds me of that song. Um, is it How Did You Love by Lil Wayne? Okay. There's something around your life right now. You guys are destined to walk this path alone, okay? This is a requirement of solitude, of faith, and I do see an investment that's coming towards you in about two days, nine days, you guys. I see a level up or something that's shocking. It almost feels as if your your steam feels, you know, really up or you're feeling really confident about yourself. Okay, a lot of you may be trusting yourself during this time, but listen, Taurus, how do you love? Okay, or how did you love? There's some karma here. Some of you guys are karmically aligning with people who are kin. We have Libra. You're clearing out a cycle. Okay, you are clearing out a cycle with Libra. An air sign. Some of you, this is a fire sign. We have Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay. So how did you love? Okay. How did you love, Taurus? Listen, Taurus, some of you guys may be feeling a bit more protective than usual, okay? Some of you guys are protecting your environment. I am having vision here of the earth. Gaia, really organizing a lot of your past to clear it. Okay, I am channeling and I'm sorry. Okay. So we have the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. Listen, you guys, your ancestors, they, they are really surrounding you during this time, okay? There's a war cry around you, Taurus, okay? Some of you guys, there's something around your lineage here. Pay attention, you guys. Where are you on this karmic scale? Okay, the feather and heart. You're making a decision, but is this coming from a place of heart or is it coming from a place of power, reaching for power, needing power? Okay. So what opportunities are coming your way, Taurus? So we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, you guys. Yes, you guys. Pay attention. Listen, Taurus, you are grounded. The drums, a lot of you really know where you're headed. You're really feeling um, destiny right now. I can feel it. But there's something in your environment. Listen, I really have to kind of emphasize justice here, you guys. Okay, if you are working with deities, I do see Mutt, I do see a deity here that you may be working with or someone who wants to work with you in regards to justice or balance, you guys, okay? Something may feel overwhelming, okay? Or you're reaching for something or someone here feels as if you are untrusting or you're not trustworthy. So this is about your community, you guys, what you're teaching, how you're leading, what's happening in your environment. So what gifts, you guys? Yes, you guys, the gift of structure, the gift of home, the gift of feeling grounded, the gift of opportunity, okay? In order, if you guys have been looking for a home, if you guys are looking for something that feels grounded, rooted, I do see this for you here. 
Taurus, you, there's something around clearing, okay? Are you seeing it for yourself? Okay, are you seeing this for yourself? This is about clearing the path with the Libra, you guys. I understand you love, you love so much from your heart, Taurus. You love so much from your heart. But pay attention, something is guiding you away from this connection, okay? Are you guys seeing the signs? Something has been kind of removing you from your peace. Right now, destiny is offering a celebration and engagement. Can you guys feel it, you guys? A, a confidence. It just, it feels as if you are feeling confident, you're feeling renewed. Everything about your life right now is changing. But Mott, listen, this is about really just expressing truth or making the right decision, you guys. Okay? Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Some of you have an opportunity to buy a home. Perhaps this is something that you wanted for yourself for quite some time. Okay. Some of you guys may get um, news. Okay. A roommate situation or there's a desire to move ahead. Some of you are moving in the direction of south and east. Okay. Yes, you guys. Taurus, embrace your journey. Listen, Taurus. This is about your heart, okay? And letting go. Okay, let's talk about love. Taurus, listen, some of you guys... I'm having a vision of an empty box, of an empty jewelry box. I don't know, you guys have a theme right now of a jewelry box. How you are adorning your crown, how you're filling your mind, what kind of information is going in, you guys. Okay, listen, some of you are revisiting the past or you have a soulmate connection coming back. Okay, a reconciliation with the Scorpio. We have an Aries. We have an Aquarius. This person. Um, there's a risk here, you guys. This person is really free. They're coming in with an offer or they really want to connect with you, you guys. There's something about this love. It brings you, um, it makes you high. It's euphoric. They're an artist. They're free. They are expressive. Okay, this relationship, Taurus, can actually be a risk, okay? This relationship can be a risk, you guys. They may make you feel good. There's something around this love that makes you feel really good. It makes you feel really grounded, fulfilled, okay? But there's a risk involved here, Taurus. This month is about honesty, okay? Gemini season influence your ability to be flexible, to be adaptable. And there's an enhancement around language, public speaking. So a lot of you may want to kind of express more than you should, okay? Or you're naturally inclined to take a risk. Okay, listen. Some of you, if you're single, Taurus, this is about a divorce. Okay, or some of you are finalizing something here, but you're free. Okay, Taurus, a lot of you are saying, I am free. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, you guys. Okay, listen, you have love. Okay, you have love at your feet, you have love at your door, you have love adorned in gold, you guys. Do you see it? Are you paying attention to it? Okay, something here may look really um, amazing. Okay, pay attention to the desire this month, Taurus. Okay. Pay attention to the desire this month. There's something about wanting, okay? 
This may not be a time to just want. Someone here wants a commitment. Scorpio wants a commitment. Or this person um, may be kind of flighty. And some of you are ready to settle down. Okay, Taurus. This is about an opportunity that looks wonderful. It looks fulfilling. It's, it's freeing you. Okay, Taurus. It's absolutely freeing you. But is it worth the price? Okay, is it worth kind of stepping off the edge here? <laughs> Money is on the line. Okay, money, time, Taurus. A lot of you are growing beautiful, beautiful new harvest, Taurus. Okay, there's something around purity, you guys. I'm having a vision of white flowers. I'm having a vision of uh, purity, my love, something is growing, you want to start anew, some of you guys are really ready to start over. Okay. Listen, so we do have the Knight of Swords, yes, you guys, communication, this is definitely a trigger this month for you. Okay, there's something around communication during this time, you guys. It's fast, it's heated. Be careful for words, you guys. One of my favorite sayings, once you express something, we can't really take our words back, you guys. There's something around brainstorming. Really brainstorm what you're going to say before it's said in love. Some of you are feeling a bit irritable, okay? I want now. Taurus is saying, I want now. Or someone here is coming in and they want a commitment right now. There's a lack of patience, okay? But listen, Taurus, this can be costly to your foundation, Taurus. If you are in the middle of a divorce, you guys pay attention to how it's being said, what's being, um, you know, shared. Okay, this is about money, okay? If not about money, your home, your foundation, yes? But on, I, I feel you're learning, okay? This is about really learning from the challenges, you guys. A lot of you are learning so much around your stability, okay? Or someone here wants to be harsh, but you're teaching them. You are a teacher this month. You are a leader this month. You are in your power this month. Okay, let's see you guys. You're teaching this person love from a different place. Okay, you are teaching this person that love doesn't have to be evasive. Love doesn't have to be um, shadowy. Does that make sense? You can really embrace the moment, Taurus. So let's talk about it, you guys. Let's talk about love. Yes. Listen, Taurus, some of you have this immense amount of um, resiliency around love during this time. You feel confident. You feel patient. Love is kind, right? Because, uh, nah, nah, you know, that song, I forget who it's by, you guys. Remind me, I think she, Eve, she had short hair. So listen, there's destiny really kind of blocking this path right now, Taurus. Pay attention to this barrier. A lot of you may want to push past it, but there's something here that is guiding you to kind of take a pause, to be clear when it comes to love, okay? This is because whatever is happening in love here is unclear. Some of you may want to rush you're rushing a decision in love, okay? Make sure you're not rushing, Taurus. Take your time. For others, there's a barrier around a love that's uh, euphoric or it makes you feel really as if this is your first love again, okay? blind because we can I, I forget that song love is blind okay Taurus 
love is heaven and earth for you, okay? Love is heaven and earth for you as you hold your golden cup here, your chalice. Some of you, this person is coming in with um, a dream or they're really coming in with invocation, devotion of love. They're really dreamy, they're flighty. Okay, Piscean energy or someone who has Pisces in their chart. Okay, I do feel this person is actively watching you or they're really interested in you guys. Okay, but I have to be very honest. What is real? Okay, what is real? Okay, Taurus. Some of you, this person is, there are a lot of promises here, okay? Several promises, but there's a lack of earth. There's a lack of grounding. Is it worth it, you guys? I do see um, something around becoming a lawyer. If you guys are a lawyer, there's lawyers involved. Listen, there's something about this. Okay, pay attention. This person may... And there's something around a burden here, you guys. What is yours to carry, Taurus? Yes, you guys. I love it. I do, I do. Yes, you guys. So, listen. Pay attention, Taurus, you are so worthy of love. This person, there's an addiction, there's an obsession. Okay? I do feel for a lot of you, there is a choice. Okay? There's temptation here, Taurus. You have a choice between a love that is long-term, and you also have a choice between a love that is short-term, but it's addictive. Okay? There's an addiction to a person or a situation this Gemini season, it's coming towards you. I do feel air sign, we have a water sign. Some of you are cycling through the same karmic cycle, but listen, it's also freeing you, okay? There's no shame in kind of going back to revisit this. But it comes with a price, you guys. Pay attention to the price, okay? So what is the outcome, Taurus? Let's see what's going on with you. What is the outcome in love? Listen, you guys, pay attention to body language during this time with your partners. There's something about the hands. The hands will reveal a lot of their intention. Some of you, they may close themselves off. They're closing their body off, or they're doing a lot of maybe touching, covering their third eye. They don't want you to know their insight. They don't want you to know how they truly feel about you or how you truly feel about them. The hands are revealing, my loves. Pay attention, okay? Um, it's definitely one of my favorite things to draw and create because with our hands we create and we also destroy. So keep that in mind and love, okay? Yes, you guys. So what is the outcome? 11, you guys, 111, yes. You have a soulmate connection, you guys. There's a temptation here to move very quickly with unresolved ties. Taurus, pay attention about, excuse me, pay attention when it comes to um, unresolved karma or cycles, okay? Uh, my spirit guides are really showing me the moon is going to show you the way, you guys. Angel quartz and sunstone. Okay, really paying attention to a love that is generous and kind. Are you evolving or are you repeating, Taurus? This is really key here. Okay, I love you. Bye.